Yo, what is going on guys? This is djp 3 games and welcome to episode number 8 of our Pokemon Red and Blue Randomized Nuzlocke vs. The series that is a mouthful. Just like the noodles that my boy Jet is eating. Oof. How are the noodles? Dude, my, like, there's like a ball of fire sitting in my gut. Hmm. That, uh, you might want to get that checked out. That's like, have you ever seen those videos, like, what does a 1000 degree iron ball do to a can of coke or whatever like i'm finding out what that does to my gut right now oh uh, no i haven't i've always seen the uh um the does it blend videos they just put things like random shit into blenders oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> or those that, like the people that have like the hydraulic presses and they just squish everything He's yeah it's dope. amazing to me how many subscribers those channels have but Dude, i mean I, shout outs to you guys they're interesting videos i, I sit there and watch them whenever i'm bored <laughs> I want to get one but, of those super hyper slow-mo cams. Alright, we can go ahead and get started whenever. <laughs> now that we're completely off topic. Yeah, we got a timer uh, this time, so we, we last do. episode, we, do. Uh, we forgot to set a timer, this time we have one. Yeah, um, also, I mean, if you guys missed out on the last episode, make sure you uh, head back and watch that one. It was a pretty good one. Uh, nobody lost the game, so check that out for yeah. sure. And uh, I'm going to start the timer in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, let's do it. I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. I gotta oh, take on uh, you get Bridge. Okay. I almost went right in front of a trainer I hadn't battled yet. <laughs> but I should be able to get three encounters, like, really quick. I've got uh, this Route 3 encounter. I've got the uh, Magic Carp Static encounter and a Mount Moon encounter. Gotta fill out that squad. Right. Also, I did a little bit of research in between episodes, and I don't know how long Roly Poly is gonna be sticking around here, because his moveset is booty like 110 yeah. percent booty cheeks the next move he learns is uh self-destruct and that's pretty much all he gets mm. so i'm not really not really big on self-destruct and uh, self-destructed nuzlocks <laughs> when did i Personal use thing. repel a repel it, it just popped up and said repel's effect wore off i think maybe i accidentally oh. used a repel at some point repel without a cause Basically, yeah. Oh, oh I haven't us. battled this chick yet. I should have went back to battle her first. This dude's got himself a Starmie. <clears throat> it's a good thing I have a Thunder Shocking Moltres to take care of that problem. This guy's got a pincer. See, if I would have if I would have held on to that, like, it's a double edged sword. Like, if I would have held on to that Thunder Shock TM, I could have taught it to Roly Poly. But at the same time, yeah. I probably wouldn't have gotten this far into the game without having it on Phoenix. So it's kind of... Yeah, you, you gotta pick and choose your battles. That's like yeah. I'm not even bothered training up my Slowpoke right now because I think it doesn't it doesn't learn any Water-type moves. Not even Water Gun? Uh, it's, it might learn Water Gun, but it's not for like a while. Yeah. You know, you know what's funny? I never realized just how ass Gen 1 learn sets were. Dude, yeah, they are bad. Like, it's so bad. And I, don't, I guess I didn't realize it as a kid. I think most people don't realize it because, like, the starter Pokemon, um, you know, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, like, they actually mm -hmm. had a, they have pretty decent level up move sets. Yeah, but any of the wild uh, Pokemon you can catch are just, especially some bad. of the ones later in the Pokedex. Yeah, there is, but I guess that's because you're supposed to catch them at a later level, so they didn't really pay attention because there's, there was no breeding yeah. in this game, so you weren't so technically supposed to have these Pokemon at these levels. That's a good point. At least that's how I'm looking at it. I'm trying to justify right. it. Let's see what my Route 3 encounter is. Oh, it's a tentacool. They need to hire me on the Game Freak boy. Legal, legal team. I can defend anything. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and try to catch this tentacool. Yeah, so Roly Poly is just kind of here for now. I mean, Sonic Boom is definitely putting in the work. Like, I, he was level 9 and he just destroyed this level 14 coughing. Hmm. So that's good, for sure. Because, I mean, it's fast. It's fast as all hell. Fast as fuck, boy. Should have named him Sanic. Right, I'm going to put this uh, tentacle to sleep. I'm going to try to catch it, but I'm not going to waste that many Pokeballs. Damn it, that would have been clever. Name him Sanic, because he's rolling around at the speed of sound. Get it? Hmm? So I good. get it. I really don't even need this tentacle, but I could always use it to sack off something, I guess. So, uh, yeah. tentacle, put him, put him on the way out there. You right. <coughs> oh god. Oh lord. I'm gonna sneeze. 
Lord have mercy. <coughs> All right. But we got some bless yous in the chat. <laughs> Had to expel the demons. <laughs> um. This electrode went from level 8 to level 12 five minutes into the episode. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I nicknamed this uh, Tentacle Ursula. I like the Little Mermaid. Nice. Nice. He, he's just going to sleep on the layout. Uh-oh. Don't uh, you die on me, Clem. I guess Clem. I could have avoided this chick, but that's all right. Woo! I just took a critical experience. hit vine whip from an Ivysaur and lived. Yikes. That was got terrifying. Got Woo! That'll get the old, uh, the old heart a pumping. I definitely need something bigger than potions at this point in the game. I'm gonna hope this Raticate doesn't get a crit here. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out the Lava Boy. Play it safe. Instead of trying to heal up. There we go, Clem level 14. Definitely need to level up Roly Poly and Clem a little bit to match up to Phoenix up there at level 21. <laughs> Yikes. Right? Bit of a level gap there. This, uh, Eradicate's giving me some trouble. Mm. Alright, that should be good now. Licky Tongue. Yo, Licky Tongue is thick in this game. Yeah, Licky Tongue is a fat boy. Woo! That tongue do, though, girl. Ooh. No, All right. you bitch. She disabled my sonic boom. Huh. Not You're cool. Right. Not cool. All right, I'm going to go up here to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to heal. I'm going to get the static Magikarp encounter and then make my way into Mount Moon. I hope your Magikarp is a Caterpie. Dude, I hope it's like a Dragonite. I hope it's a Caterpie. Give me a Mewtwo. I'll take a level 5 Mewtwo. I hope it's a Ditto. You know, I wouldn't be upset with a Ditto. <laughs> when I was a kid, Ditto was my favorite Pokemon. I've got the deal just for you. I'll let you have a Swell Magic card just for $500. Golly. Oh, it's a Ghastly. Mm. It could be good in late game. It'll evolve at level 37 if you keep it that long. Heck yeah. Nickname that Ghastly Nappy. You already know. Nappy. Oh my god, quit confusing gonna, uh, all of my Pokemon, please. Ghost and Poison type. He's got Lick, Confuse Ray, and Nightshade, so that's not bad. That's all he'll have forever. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go into Mount Moon. Pick up um, this uh, Master Ball real quick. Ooh, it's TML5. Uh, what is that? And I think we've mentioned it before, um, but we did change Impossible Evolutions, so... Um, Ooh, as long as thing. he's able to hold on to that Ghastly, uh, after it turns into a Haunter, it'll evolve into Gengar at level 37. Yeah. So that, that'll be, uh, pretty, <clears throat> pretty good. Just like, uh, earlier, whenever I had that Kadabra, it, uh, right. fortunately didn't make it to, uh, fruition. But my encounter here at Mount Moon is a Weeping Bell. Uh, Leaf Stone evolution. Fun times. Yeah. I mean, I think I could still buy a Leaf Stone in Celadon City. Oh, yeah, because I don't think the Marts are randomized. So you you are, shouldn't be. Yeah, you should be able to do that for sure. And that's not even that far out. It should be at just about the perfect level to do it by that point. And a grass imagine. type isn't bad, because this... I know it's got Vine Whip, at least. That'll help me take care of some rock and ground types. And water types. Agreed, because I don't have any electric moves on Thor yet. Yeah, and water is the most abundant Pokemon type in first gen. Water is the most abundant. I don't even know if water is the most abundant element. It's not. I mean, it's not even an element. It's a compound. But right. Science. Well, I mean, it depends. Are you talking like actual scientific elements, or are you talking like Avatar: The Last Airbender elements? Because in that case, it is uh, an element. I don't know. Uh, Guess it all depends on your definition. <laughs> all right. All right. I caught the weaving bill. Uh, what am I gonna nice. Name? Yeah. So, have you seen anything about the uh, the gold and silver demo thing? Gold and silver demo. So there was a a, a so back in 1997, two years before gold and silver came out, mm -hmm. 
um, at this uh, convention in Japan, they had a gold and silver demo. Hmm. And it was completely different than the gold and silver we got, because, I mean, it was two years beforehand. And yeah. And it was only ever out on, like, the little, the, the little demo cartridges, right? Well, it's recently been released. No shit. As, yeah, well, I mean, like, it got leaked. Somebody found oh. it, and it got leaked as a, uh, as a, an, uh, a ROM that you can emulate. Huh. And it's got a bunch of, like, completely different... So a lot of Pokemon that were completely differently designed... A lot of Pokemon that didn't make it into the game at all. Oh, I think I remember seeing something about that. I wasn't sure what it was yeah. from, though. I just saw pictures. Yeah, like, there's some wild-looking Pokemon out there. Uh, it's really cool, actually. Wow, this Gyarados almost one-shotted me. Um, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. Nappy's level 6. Oh, I remember where I was going with that, because the Weeping Bell. Um, because there was, like, a split evolution for Weeping Bell. Because, um, you know how... Um, it, it'll evolve into Victory Bell with a Leaf Stone, or um, Blossom. Yeah. With uh, is that right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, or into Blossom. Um, so there was a like a third evolution or whatever. There's like a, a Weeping Bell with legs. What? It was weird. That's a little wild. Yeah. And there was, like, a bunch of, like, pre-evolution, like, baby Pokemon. Like, there was, like, a little baby Vulpix and a baby Ponyta and a baby Arcanine. And... See, like, Vulpix and Arcanine, they're already kind of babies. Same with Ponyta. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I think some other uh, evolutions definitely deserve baby Pokemon, though. Um, there and... was a Pinsir evolution. Yeah, uh, I, I could see, like, baby Pokemon for, like, Pinsir and Scyther. Oh, Dude, so something wild. So there was Pokemon in there, like um, they there are fourth gen Pokemon. Like there was a Mime Junior, huh? That didn't come out until fourth gen, but it was there. And then I don't know. It was just there's a lot of really cool stuff, and you can see a lot of really cool different like changes that were made. So like basically the concepts were there, they just never got put to use yep. right they away. They decided not to use them in second gen. They wanted to refine the designs more. Is my theory, yeah. anyways. So, I mean, I'm but, sure a lot of people think, like, oh, like, a new Pokemon game comes out. Like, they, they've been working on it for years. Like, yeah. they're releasing Pokemon games while they're already working on the next ones. Yep. Which is insane. <laughs> it's ridiculously insane. I mean, but when you have that many, like, that big of a corporation, that many employees, like, you can divide them into teams with which you can do that. So, it's, it's, oh, it's just a really cool process, I feel. Oh, yeah. Electrode's dead. Oh, no. Ripperoni. Oh, by the way, I have a full squad of six. Yo, my Pokemon miss moves that they should not be missing. Like, there's no reason I should have missed that Sonic Boom. Because if that Sonic Boom would have landed, then he wouldn't have killed me. I live in a world of what ifs. <laughs> and the, the one good thing, I'm actually training up Nappy. I'm actually, like, able to take out some Pokemon because, you know, fighting in normal types can't do anything. True story. But I have Nightshade, and that still hits them. Yep. Wait, Nightshade hits normal types? Oh, it doesn't check it does. typing, does it? It does not. Interesting. So I, ju I just throw That's up a Confuse broken. Ray and hit, some, hit him with some Nightshades. That's broken. It is a little bit. I've only got so two it's like Nappy's, Nappy's level 11 right now. Caught him at level... Or I got him at level 5. <laughs> but I am making my way into Mount Moon. Walking fast, faces passing your homebound. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I hear anybody start a sentence with "I'm walking" or "I'm making," mm -hmm. it's like, "A, hey, <laughs> I know where you're walking." To the right. store to get some chicken. <laughs> get this encounter right here. Yo, he's got a That's there. ironic. So I could <laughs> technically call species. It's a Wigglytuff. I mean, unless you want a Wigglytuff, you can catch it. That's the thing, I don't... No, I'm gonna see what else is here. Like, Wigglytuff is cool, but I don't need it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another Wigglytuff. God, your pupils are huge! Dude, one thing I'm excited about with Pokemon Let's Go is the uh, co-op. 
Yes, that looks amazing. I should have taken the Wigglytuff. What was your uh, next option there? A Meowth. A Meowth? Yeah, Meowth sound bad. That's right. Oh, I killed it. I thought you told me Twin Needle was bad. That Twin Needle, like, wrecked that Meowth. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's bad. <laughs> like, it just destroyed that poor Meowth. It didn't have... Oh, there was a Knit Arena here. I have a Moonstone. Damn. Sad Panda. Oh, well. Um, yeah, no, that, uh, that co-op gameplay is going to be amazing. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, the, like, the only downside to it is that I don't think you'll be able to do that online. Like, it's got to be like a couch co-op kind of deal. Yeah. I mean, and they could eventually make it to where it is online. Or, like, that may be something that comes out with the main series game in 2019. Yeah. I, I really hope that that's something that they, that they... Like, that idea is something that they include in that main series game. Like... We, like, a lot of people were upset they didn't get a main series game, but they're, do they're doing a lot of good things. It's a lot of things they're testing on the Switch. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what this game is. It, it, so this game is doing two different things. One, it's testing the capabilities of the Switch, uh, as far as a Pokemon game goes. And two, it's bringing in all the Pokemon Go players that, that don't really play the regular Pokemon games. You know what I mean? Yeah, agreed. And it's introducing like, it gives... them to the series. So it's a great yeah. business move. Oh, definitely. It gives Pokemon Go, like, that much more of a meaning. Yeah. Plus, it looks really good. It does. I, I'm excited to get it. I am a little bit disappointed, because it does look like it's going to be grid-based movement, and I thought we'd moved past all that, but still. Got an X special. I could be wrong. But it just, it looks really good. Yeah, I figure, if anything, you know, it's probably, like, Sun and Moon Saw. Alright, so here's an Electrode. They have Sonic Boom. Does Sonic Boom still hit? Um, 20 damage. Uh, does it hit ghost types? I don't know yeah. if it checks typing. Well, I could not find tell out. You. I just hit the TM for submission. It does indeed hit Nobody ghost hit. types. Good thing I have 33 HP. That is a good thing. I had to uh, test the waters there. Okay, uh, then. I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is a separate area or not. Uh, which area are you conferring about? Um, so, you know, um, the patch of grass is left of Nugget Bridge? Yes, that's, uh... So that that's a route, and then when you go up... Um... You go up and to the right, that's a different route? Yes. Oh, okay, there's two sweet. different routes. Because <clears throat> it, it doesn't, like, change at all, so it's kind of hard to tell. And I skipped up getting the town map for the sake of speed. Yo, my yeah, encounter's I did, a I did magmar. Well. Yo, that's pretty pretty nice. I mean, all he has is ember, so. But I mean, it's it's still a uh, a fire type. I mean, you already have yeah, a fire type, so. I do, but my fire type doesn't learn any fire moves. <laughs> like ever. Yeah, I'm, I think all my Pokemon are probably going to be around level. 15-ish, or at least I'll have four around level 15 by the time I get out of Mount Moon here, because uh, Magmar's, Magmar's oh, level 17. Get, oh shit, you can get poisoned from Toad Needle. You can? <clears throat> yeah, I just poisoned the shit out of this Magmar. Hmm. It's a bug type move that poisons people. I, That's pretty I, cool. I was not aware of that. That's pretty nifty. How neat is that? Did you ever see that video? What? The the guy who just talks about how neat everything is. Oh no, I can't remember. I don't think so. I'll have to, I'll have to find it and send it to you because it's it's just it's one of those things that's so stupid. It's funny. All right, water gun should not kill us. Okay, it does that's pretty really neat. Heal. I'm trying to conserve right. my potions because I only got like two more. Yep, that's that's what happened to me. I went into Mount Moon and only had two potions. <laughs> All right, so we got Tit Duck. But I, I'm sitting pretty good. Like, I've got a oh, ghost type, a grass type, a electric type, and a fire type. So I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking pretty diverse here, but I yeah, don't have dude. any good stab moves. Other than Hasht Ember and Bimeware. Hashtag diversity 2018, bro. Yeah. Gotta keep it real out here in these streets. 
I, yeah, there, there's no streets me? where I live. I, I live down like a, a dirt he did. road. He did give me a nugget. I thought that I went all the way through Nugget Bridge and he didn't actually give me a nugget. I was about to be pissed. <laughs> Let's go back and smack that ass again. Sell that for some money. Money, 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 money. I'm talking like money, my money, my money. Alright, roly poly. It's been real. This guy's gonna and be it's been weird. fun, but it ain't been real fun. Goodbye. Uh, no, it's not very effective. Alright. Uh, I think I might drop. What yeah, does, I think uh, I'm gonna put Tit Duck in the PC. What does Ghastly evolve into Haunter? It's, it's like level like 20 uh, something. Yeah, um. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Oh, this is like 25. <laughs> that sounds pretty right. But that doesn't mean that it is. <laughs> A sand shrew. Oh, so when they did the the trailer for uh, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, right? Did you notice that they changed Eevee's cry so that it actually sounds like it's saying Eevee? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I meant to, I meant to watch the. I meant to watch like a video of someone breaking it down, but I never got around to it. Yeah, because like back in um, anime or whatever, when it showed an Eevee, it did like it, it. It didn't. It didn't say Eevee. Yeah. At least as far as I can remember, it didn't say Eevee. It just made a cute little noise. And now, the cry, at least in that trailer, it's a cute little noise that, sa that says Eevee. Hmm. And then they're also releasing a new Pokemon. I personally think it's going to be Evolution. See, I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's a new Pokemon. They, it never said that it was a new Pokemon. It just said like a surprise Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. And it and it's in. It's only it like it transfers from. Um, let's go. Uh, into Pokemon Go, um, not the other way around. So I think it's just it's, gonna be like could be something like a, that's not in Pokemon Go. I think it's just gonna be either a Pikachu or an Eevee with a special hat or something stupid. Ah, uh, that would be so dumb. That like that's honestly what I think is gonna Man, end up happening. Because if it was a new Pokemon, it would go into the game. You would think, not into Pokemon Go. Oh, there's Golduck in here. Golduck would have been a good encounter. I like Golduck. Oh, I'm out of Vine Whips. Rutro. Uh, we got three and a half minutes left. I may go back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> run, Forest, run! Just so I can get those Vine Whips back, and then, uh... Of course you break through the paralysis to hit me with that bubble. That meanest of bubble. Because if something happens and I run into a ground type, I could be screwed. Yeah. If I run into anything that's got Thunderbolt, I'm screwed. All I have right now is my Cloyster and my Moltres. I, I've got a pretty good Fantastic Four going on over here. Yeah, Ghastly, Weeping Bell, Electabuzz, and a Magmar. Nice. Oh, I haven't battled this guy yet. Alright, he's got a Cubone. Oh, and then have you seen anything on that? That new game that they just dropped, that free-to-play one, the Pokemon Quest on the Switch. I, ha I have not. I meant to uh, download it on my Switch. It's free, isn't it? Yeah, uh, there's just a bunch of microtransactions. Um, I downloaded it, not for me, but for my kids, because it's definitely not the kind of game I'm ever going to play. Oh, I'm definitely going to play it. <laughs> but they Isn't it, it supposed to come out for iOS, too? Uh, I have no idea. I think I heard so that, like, like maybe late June. Uh, but... It's uh, definitely not my kind of game. <clears throat> Just when I was talking about uh, needing to recover my vine whips, I run into a ground type and a rock type. <laughs> but luckily, they are a little bit level, a little bit lower level. So this I'm, game, I'm this game hurt surviving. You. We out here living, boys. And a gold bat. Diglet dig, bro. Tickle it, tickle it, tickle it. Trio, trio, trio. Oh my god. Alright, landed the clamp. Big damage. Oh, I used to Super Sanic. 
Super Sanic. Super Saiyan Sanic. Super Saiyan Sanic. Yo, know, I I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for the uh, Dragon Ball Super movie to come out. Yo, I just realized something. Uh, so the hikers in this game, it's literally a grown-up Cartman from South Park. Yeah, that's true. The fat boys. Like, if you if you look at him, he looks like he's doing the weird uh, like eye thing in South Park where their eyes just turn into like a, like a big <sighs> X. Oh my god, that was close. I just about died. Yeah, this, the, the super movie is going to be good, dude. I am excite. Me too. I always love when they put Dragon Ball movies in theaters. Yep. I've never actually seen a Dragon Ball movie in theater. I think I've seen the last two that have been in theaters. The Resurrection F and Battle of yeah. the Gods. Yes. This item. Uh, Ooh, a Carbo, so I can sell that. Yep, that's forty nine hundo. Heck yeah, it Quit. is. I gotta, I gotta okay. go back to the Pokemon Center though. See, this is one of those things about Pokemon that's bullshit to me. Double slap should only Yo, hit me twice. Yo, there's Gengar in here. Like, under no circumstance should a move called double slap hit me five fucking times. I I completely agree. Say uh, false advertising. It's the timer. All right, I'm in a battle. All right, I'm gonna save my Pokemon. game. Stand right here. Uh, I'll just go ahead and kill it for the experience. For the expa? Yep. Ugh. Making some decent progress, man. You are? We both are, I think. Yeah, I mean, we're actually in pretty good shape, both teams. Why? So I, I think we can kind of just put losing in the, uh... Yeah, in the behind pass. us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, especially because we're at the point now where we have enough Pokemon where we have a couple in the PC or something. You know, we have Pokemon to fall back on. <laughs> yeah. So, go ahead and save my game. I told you guys we'd get it. Took us a minute, but we got it. Yeah, we got it. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, let us know down in the comments uh, what you guys think of the new Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, I'm looking forward to them. So, I mean, it, in, any new Pokemon game is always an exciting one. I agree 110%. Alright, but we're going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will see you in the next one. Peace! Bye!